Hi everybody, thank you for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a big Mac haul. Yesterday, I went to the store closest to my house and there was a new collection that launched and everything was sold out online. So I was like, I have to get to the store and try out some of these new products. I've never actually been to a Mac store the day of a product launch, so it was pretty intense. I got there about 20 minutes early and there was a line outside. Luckily, I was third in line and by the time I actually got in, they were saying that everything's almost gone already, which is a little bit crazy because I was there a half hour early, third in line, and everything was already almost gone. So I thought when Mac has a launch like this, they have like hundreds of products, but obviously I was wrong. The lady in front of me was getting three of everything and I didn't even get to see the collection. The lady looked at me and she's like, well, what can I get you from the collection before it's all gone? And I was like, well, take your time with these two and then once you're done, like I'll come and I'll check it out and then look. And she was like, no, 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 it's going really quick. You have to just pick now or you're not going to get some of the products. So I was like, Oh, well, okay, um, I'll take that lipstick, that lipstick, this, 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 and that. And I didn't get to try anything out in the store, so I actually have everything still in the packaging. I waited a whole day to open it up just so I can actually open it on camera and, I guess, give you guys my first impression reviews. I'm sure some of you are probably like, why do you need any more makeup? And I understand why you would think that, and I don't think I need any more makeup as well, but I was online, and there was two... Um, high dimension skin finishes that they had launched with this new line and I thought it was going to be exactly like MAC Whisper of Guilt which is like a, a highlighter slash illuminator and that one was limited edition and I never got my hands on it so I thought that this one was going to be basically a duplicate of that so that's why I wanted to try out the products of course here I am in the store and she's like rushing me what do I need and I'm like oh, I don't know so I just grabbed a whole bunch of crap I have a pro card for Mac so I get a discount on the products so basically Mac costs me maybe a little bit more than the drugstore so I do get a good deal on Mac so don't think I'm crazy which you probably already do look at all this crap behind me but all right so let's get into the haul the packaging for the new collection is really cool. It looks like it's um, water. It's like a turquoise with little rain droplets all over it. And this collection is like the aquatic collection. I don't know, it doesn't even say it. But um, so they all have the cool packaging. It's not the typical black packaging. The first one that I got was Delphic. And the other one is Aphrodite Shell. And like I said, online, these looked like highlighters. Um, now, in person, they look more like bronzers with like a highlighter in it. So I haven't tried these out. I'm going to swatch them for you guys, and then we'll see how it actually comes out. But yeah, so I was a little disappointed. I thought they were highlighters, and they're not, but I still picked them up. And I actually got two of the lighter shade, and this is going to be included in the big giveaway that I posted yesterday. If you guys haven't checked out that giveaway, make sure to check it out. Also, BeautyCon is tomorrow. So for those of you attending in New York City, I will be there. I should be there around 12. And I'm just going to be walking around the whole place for about 2-3 hours. I don't have a meetup or anything like that, but I will be there. So if you guys see me, please say hello. I would love, love to meet you guys. Um, yeah, so back to the haul. So this one is Delphic and it's a little bit of a darker shade and the other one is called Aphrodite Shell and as you can see it has a shiny finish to it. I would say almost like a pearly finish and I'm just going to show you the swatches really quick. First I'm going to show you the Delphic and I dipped my finger in Fix Plus because usually with these skin finishes I always use either Fix Plus or the Charged Water. And here you can see it's just a dark color, it would be perfect for bronzer. And the lighter color has more of a pearly look to it. I would recommend this for someone with lighter skin tone as a bronzer. In the MAC collection, sometimes they just repackage products that they already have that's a popular product that they just put in limited edition packaging. So this bronzer I do have in the regular collection, but I was running low on it, so I figured I'd pick it up. It's just the Refined Golden Bronzer, and it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. But again, the packaging is so cool for this. It really looks like there's water on it. I picked up two extra dimension blushes in the color See Me, Hear Me, and Seduced at Sea. And these are really pretty. They look really shimmery. This one's a little bit more peachy colored, and then this one's a more pink finish. And I'm going to swatch these two to see how they actually come out. First, I'm swatching Seduced at Sea, and this is a really pretty peach finish. And then I'm swatching See Me, Hear Me, which is a little bit of a pinker color. And then since I forgot to swatch the bronzer, the Golden Refined, here is a quick swatch of that. 
I picked up the three lighter lipsticks that were in the collection. Enchanted one, Pet Me Please, and Siren Song. The casing though. Like I only have maybe two, three, or four-ish limited edition lipsticks or limited edition anything for that matter from MAC. But these are like, these are cool. This is called Siren Song and it's very iridescent. It's not extremely pigmented but it gives you a really pretty shiny finish. Next I'm swatching Pet Me Please and this one is definitely my favorite of the three. It's a beautiful purpley taupe shimmery color and I absolutely love this one. And the last one is called Enchanted One and it's a really pretty nude pink-ish color. It's very pigmented though and I love it. Along with the lipsticks, I picked up one of the glosses. This one is called Peach Stock, and I had to get it because if you guys have seen most of my recent videos, my favorite nude lipstick is Peach Stock by MAC, and this one is my favorite for when I'm tanner. It's just a nice nude color. It's not too light, so it doesn't look white on your lips. But I actually realized that the Peach Stock is a pro, a MAC Pro color, so they don't sell it in the stores. They only have it under the Pro card section on the website, but I'm pretty sure you can find it on Amazon, but this lip gloss is amazing. I love it. So just a few more items. The last two things that I picked up from that collection are these two shadows in Lorelei and Sea Warship. And these are beautiful. These look so pigmented and really, really shiny. Lorelei is more of a champagne, bronzy color, and Sea Worship is like a greenish gold color. And let me test these two out to see how beautiful they look. The other colors in the collection I did like, but I figured before I spend way too much money, let me just get these and try them out. And I figured I should be good to go. First I'm swatching Lorelei and this would double as a highlighter. I love the pigment and the shininess of this. And the second one, Sea Worship, is like a goldish green and I also love how pigmented this one is as well. And the last thing that I picked up is from the new movie Maleficent. Maleficent? Male Maleficent. I think that's right. Maleficent. The new movie with Angelina Jolie, her and those cheekbones. Ugh. I can't even, but they had this also, and it's this beautiful red color. It's called True Love's Kiss, and of course I had to pick it up to try it out, but this is a beautiful red shade. It's a matte lipstick. So that was my most recent MAC haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know a lot of the products are unfortunately sold out, but I don't know if they restock it on the website or I'm sure if you go in store somewhere, they probably still have some of these laying around. I would have to say overall my favorite products would be the lipsticks, the lip gloss, the two eyeshadows, and... Yeah, I think that would be it. I mean, the casing is beautiful. The two extra dimension bronzers are not highlighters as I originally thought so I'm a little disappointed in that but they really are a beautiful finish. You can never go wrong with MAC and I think every time I go in that store no matter how much MAC I own I'll always find something new that I have to try out. But yeah so that is it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time I'll see you guys later.